Good morning, everyone. I'm Teacher Rose, and welcome to Contemporary Philippine Arts from the Regions. For today's presentation, we're going to discuss or tackle the art in the Philippines. For the specific objectives of this presentation, or after going through this presentation, you are expected to, number one, define contemporary arts, number two, describe the art forms from the various regions through the development of Philippine arts, and number three, describe various contemporary art forms from the regions based on the elements and principles of arts. So let's start the presentation with a question, what is art? Art came from the Latin word art or artist, which means to do or man-made. Art or singing is defined as the different manners of expressing human skills and imagination in the creation of aesthetic conditions, objects, and presentations. Art is not confined only to what is seen. Art involves the use of all the physical senses in order to appreciate it. Art plays a significant role in the abundant cultural identity of the Philippines. It reflects the people, history, and tradition of the Philippines as a whole. Philippines has diverse art forms from its different regions. These diverse art forms, when integrated, give a clear picture of how abundant the culture and tradition of the Philippines is. It continues to evolve up to the present and progress to contemporary art tradition. As a Filipino, we should have the knowledge about the different art forms in the Philippines to fully understand the culture, tradition, and nation's identity. In this presentation, you will have an understanding and appreciation of the Philippine arts, specifically the contemporary Philippine arts. The development of the Philippine arts comes in three major traditions. These are the ethnic tradition, Spanish colonial tradition, and American colonial and contemporary arts traditions. Even before the colonization, the Philippines already has its indigenous arts. In this era, arts forms were primarily influenced by the area where our ancestors prospered. However, the Spaniards came to tend to replace indigenous arts with Western arts. For the period of Spanish rule, art forms were primarily influenced by religion and secularization. Consequently, after more than three centuries of Spanish colonization. During American rule, development of Philippine art form was mainly influenced by education and governance. Subsequently, concept of modern art was introduced and practiced by many artists. It is in this time wherein urbanization, consumerism, changes in the political system, and rise of new technology influence the development of art. Due to the technological advances, a new forms of expression came in the field of arts and modern art continuously developed which led to the contemporary arts nowadays. In the ethnic tradition, some of its characteristic or features are, art forms are primarily influenced by the geographical location and the experiences of the Filipinos. In this time, the purpose of art is integral to life, Arts reflected the pagan beliefs and practices everyday activity such as fishing, farming, and a specific decorative art pattern to the community. An example of ethnic tradition art is the Angono Petroglyphs. The Angono Petroglyphs is situated in Binangono, Rizal. 
It was discovered by the national artist Carlos Botong Francisco in 1965. There are 127 human and animal figures engraved on the rock wall and dated back to circa late Neolithic. Another form of art is the Manungul Jar. Manungul Jar is found in Manungul Cave, Lipuan Point, Palawan in the early 1960s. Manungul Jar is a burial jar which signifies the belief of early Filipino in life after death. The next form of art is the Banga. Banga literally means paths. The Banga or Path Dance is a performance of Kalinga of the Mountain Province of the Philippines. This dance shows the elegant grace of Igoro tribe and the skill and strength of women. In the Spanish colonial tradition, art forms were primarily influenced by religion and secularization. In this time, Spaniards used arts to propagate the Catholic faith. Langit, Lupa, at Impierno by Joseph Luciano Dance. This wall painting by Joseph Luciano Dance will be found in St. James the Apostle Church in Paite, Laguna. This painting was dated 1850 and depicts the heaven crucifixion of Christ, earth, Aden and Eid, and hell sinners with different transgressions. Another art form during Spanish colonial tradition is the St. Paul Metropolitan Cathedral. St. Paul Metropolitan Cathedral is located in Burgos, Bigan City, Ilocosur. The original structure was built in 1574 and replaced as a chart in 1641. The cathedral follows a Baroque architectural design. During American colonial and contemporary arts traditions, modern arts emerge. Modern arts refers to the practice of art from 1860s to 1960s. The main theme of artworks in this time is national identity. Contemporary art refers to the practice of art from 1970s to the present. Contemporary art mirrors contemporary culture and society. Diverse and emerging art practices were being introduced in this era. An example of modern art is the making of the Philippine flag by Fernando Amorsolo. This painting was made by Fernando Amorsolo, known as the Grand Old Man of Philippine Art, and born in Manila. It shows a reminder of traditions and costumes of the Filipino. Another form of art is the mural painting by Anihan by Carlos Botong Francisco. Carlos Botong Francisco was born in Ango Rizal. This painting of him was dated in 1962. This mural painting of Carlos Botong Francisco shows the Filipino's Bayanihan tradition. This also shows the distinctive style of Francisco's painting that showcases his mastery in arts. An example of contemporary art is Cinco Marias or Tres Marias series by Federico Aguilar Alcuas. Federico Aguilar Alcuas was born in Santa Cruz, Manila. Cinco Marias or Tres Marias series depicts the variety of domestic activities. Another art form is the art installation in sand dunes of Pauai by Leroy New. Leroy New is one of the Philippines' contemporary artists. He is born in General Santos City. This art installation of Leroy New was made for the La Milagrosa Festival in Ilocos Norte. According to Leroy New, the art installation symbolizes the great festivals, feasts, and celebrations. 
These art forms from various regions or from various artists contributed to the picture of Philippines' identity as a country. And as a Filipino, it's important that we have knowledge to describe these art forms based on its details and elements in relation to our country's culture and tradition that makes it an artistic piece. In the field of arts, knowing the elements and principle of art is important, not just to the artist, but also to the viewer to have a deeper understanding of an artwork. Now, let us know these elements and principles of arts. And here are the elements of art. Number one is space. In visual arts, space pertains to emptiness which may either be positive space or negative space. Positive space refers to a part which is enclosed in a shape, while negative space refers to the opposite part which the shape is enclosing. Number two is line. In visual arts, a line is a series of connected points. It may come in two characteristics, form and direction. Curved, dotted, or broken lines are examples of form, while vertical, horizontal, and diagonal lines are examples of direction. Different types of lines may convey different meanings. For example, a horizontal line usually suggests calmness. Vertical lines may convey strength. Diagonal lines create an impression of action. Curved lines create an expression of gradual change of direction. And circular line may pertain an abrupt change of direction. Number three is shape and form. Shape is an area that is enclosed by a line or lines. Shapes are two-dimensional figures with height and width. There are different kinds of shapes and these are geometric shapes like triangle, squares, rectangle, and others. Organic shapes like found in nature, shape of a leaf or cloud. Abstract shapes like asymmetrical and free-flowing shapes. Meanwhile, forms are three-dimensional figures. Its dimensions are height, width, and volume. Unlike shapes, it has more depth. Number four is color. In visual arts, color is associated with the natural phenomenon in our environment. Scientifically, when a light passes through a prism, it will produce different hues of different wavelengths. These colors may pertain to lightness, darkness, coolness or warm. Number five is value. In visual arts, value is considered a property of a color which pertains to its lightness or darkness. And number six in the elements of art is texture. In visual arts, Texture is the element that appeals to our sense of feel on things. Rough, smooth, bumpy, or slippery. It pertains to the surface of an art piece. In the principles of art, we have number one, proportion. Proportion refers to the relationship of the size of elements in a body of art. For example, when drawing a human standing beside a house, it is important to ensure that the size of the human is proportional to the size of the house. Number two is harmony. In visual arts, harmony is the unity of the artwork 
is specifically about the arrangement of the related elements. Number three in the principle of art is variety. In other terms, variety may be referred to as diversity. This means adding multiple different elements to break the monotony of an artwork and make it more interesting. Number four is movement. In arts, movement is the illusion of motion in a painting, a sculpture design, or in a piece of art. Number five is rhythm. This refers to the repetition of certain elements to produce a pattern. In visual arts, repeated design elements may create a certain flow and may lead the viewer's eyes. Number six is balance. Balance refers to the even and equal distribution of elements. The last but not the least principle of art is number seven, emphasis. Emphasis is a principle which may refer to the greater impact given on a certain element. These elements and principles of art are essential to understand the meaning of a piece of art clearly and deeply. In relation to that, Diverse art forms in the Philippines convey its meanings through the elements and principles present to them. So, as we describe some art forms from the various regions through the development of Philippine arts, let's use the elements and principles of arts to understand it. Again, I'm Teacher Rose saying, share love to everybody. Be a blessing to everyone. Thank you.